Uh, Vanity Fair in the city called Vanity is about uh, the temptations of the world. And it's interesting uh, that Vanity Fair is a town built by Beelzebub. And that tells you immediately that we're back to satanic issues and Apollyon uh, once again and Legion. Now, in the town, there is a fair. It's open all year round and it's selling all sorts of vanity, houses, lands, trades, places, honors, preferments, titles, countries, kingdoms, lusts, pleasures, and delights of all sorts as wives, husbands, children, masters, servants, lives, blood, bodies, souls, gold, pearls, precious stones, and whatnot. Now, do you understand Bunyan is saying here that the vanities of this world are not, are not necessarily things that are bad in themselves. They are things that you can be taken up with, things that are good in themselves, like children, like husbands and wives. But if you make them everything, if you place them before Jesus, if you say family first, Jesus second, they become vanities. They're part of vanity fair. What, a, what an insight Bunyan has to the spiritual... Um, the, the spiritual complexity uh, of, uh, of temptation. Now, these uh, pilgrims, uh, we are told, must needs go through this fair. Uh, the, the road that leads to the celestial city goes through Vanity Fair. There's no way around it. And I think what Bunyan is, uh, is doing, presenting here, is uh, the, way, uh, the way the world can uh, allure and tempt us uh, into a mindset that is contrary to the gospel. It's about how Christians and the Christian life is to be countercultural and not uh, accommodating. What are the marks of true discipleship? A Christian and faithful stand out for three things when they enter the city of vanity and uh, they're heading towards Vanity Fair, um, they look different. They look different in three ways. One, their dress was different. Some said they were fools. Some, they were bedlams. And some, they were outlandish men because they dressed differently. Two, their speech was... Remember, this is an allegory. Two, their speech was different. They spoke about Canaan, but that they kept the fair, uh, uh, the, the men of the fair were of this world, so that from one end of the fair to the other, they seemed barbarians, each to the other. So their dress was different, their speech was different, their interests were different. They didn't look at anything that was for sale in Vanity uh, Fair. If the tradesman called on them to do something, they would put their fingers in their ears and cry, turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity and look upwards, signifying that their trade and traffic was in heaven. Now, Bunyan isn't saying right, that, you, that you shouldn't go to the store, that you shouldn't buy things or purchase things or anything of that kind. This is an allegory. So in the allegory, there's, there's worldliness and then there's spiritual mindedness. And he's trying to depict that in a visual form. And he's saying, at the very least, he's saying, Christians stand out. And they're different. And they are seen to be different, and they ought to be heard to be different. And uh, that's uh, arresting, isn't it? Uh, I, wonder, I wonder, is that saying something to the modern church? Is the modern church a city that is set upon a hill um, that cannot be uh, hid? You know, David Wells says uh, about worldliness, he defines it as everything in a culture that makes sin look normal and righteousness look odd. That's a good description uh, of, uh, of worldliness. 